Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The Thomas Nakabala is a Kormishar Shirala, get double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that rule well. Shalom Wahabla Bachiar Shar Shirala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson. Baharacha Kurasha Amaf. We have a few brothers from the uh, Great Millstone camp out here in Des Moines. Um, There's going to be an open forum, Spirit Like the Wind, slash Just Push the Button, you know. Um, today is a high holy day, you know, on top of it being uh, uh, the Sabbath. It's also the beginning of the uh, Feast of Tabernacles. All right, and uh, we can pretty much, you know, kind of start off with that that topic and just segue on, you know, how we return back into our heritage. All right, and um, we completely coming out this world, man. All right, we completely coming out this world, the ways of this place, completely coming out the mentality of this place. Brother Mithati have been saying it a lot, uh, how we getting Egypt out of us, man. All right, we, we detoxifying from Egypt in every way, shape, and form, man. The way we think, the way we eat, the way we speak, all that's getting detoxified out of us, man. And when Yahweh Shai returns, he's looking for the ones that's ready to go home, man. He says they that were ready went in with him. So as we still here waiting for the return of the bridegroom, we ought to be getting ourselves ready. Trimming our lamps, gathering as much oil as we can. All right, so that we can be a light in these dark times that we coming into, man. But whatever y'all got. You wanted to um, start off with that in uh, Leviticus, going into the feast? Uh, yeah, you could bring that out. Con. This is uh, Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 33. It says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. Even that in itself, the fifteenth day of the seventh month. Everybody think it's August 30th. <laughs> All right, well, according to the Gregorian calendar, it's, it's, you know, it's the eighth month, about to go into the ninth month. All right, but... Uh, Biblically, you know, according according to the Bible, we keep our um, time according to the sun and the, uh, according to the moon. It says in the book of um, Genesis, the first chapter, that it shall be for uh, for signs. All right, for signs of the times, man. So that's our calendar. Our calendar is the is the moon. It's our clock, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's all a part of us going back into our heritage, man. All right, the scriptures talk about in the book of Daniel. All right, what did the uh, prophecy said that he shall uh, think to change change times and seasons, roughly paraphrasing it. All right, so everybody's been under the vibration of Esau, Edom, and what he's been pushing or what he says is right, and so on and so forth for so long. And like the brother has said, we're coming out of that, man. All right, we got discontinued from our heritage, but now the Lord has returned that unto us, man. Like it says in the uh, the book of Baruch, if I can hit that real quick yep. before. All right, this is the book of Baruch, chapter. Um, Cause uh, it wasn't. It's not supposed to be like some, you know, breakdown of the, you know, the high holy day. It's just the open form. So we started off with that, showing you what we in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, and there's a high holy. There's, it really is a. It's, it's it lasts for a week. All right. So get, get in the tent. You know, it, that's the best thing we can do. You know, get in the tent. You know, and do it like that. Even in the kingdom, man. In the kingdom is. Man, that's why, we, like we were saying, I can't say it enough, man. I can't wait for the kingdom. Because then we'll be able to keep everything perfectly, man. We can't keep everything perfect in these time, in this fucking wicked-ass, vile-ass world that we're living in right now, man. So we just striving for perfection. we just doing the best that we can, rehearsing the righteous acts, man. All right, but go ahead. Con, this is Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities... They shall remember themselves, all right? And the part of us remembering ourselves, who we are, is, of course, remembering our power, all right? Coming back into the uh, the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in the proper Hebrew, all right? Coming back to knowing that we weren't celebrating Christmas and all these pagan holidays, that we actually had a, a, a culture, all right, of us being Israel that wasn't given to us by man. It was given unto us by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, all right? Because you got a lot of people that cling on to black culture and this and that and the third man that that, that was created all right by esau edom you know what's a part of black culture man going to a damn barbecue and eating fucking pork fish fries after church sunday which is sun worship and everything like that so black culture is really rooted in paganism and wickedness man which is contrary to uh, uh our ways man but we're coming back into what does the scripture says in the book of saint john 
the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. All right, him that uh, uh, they that believe on him, as the scripture has said. So this is what we're coming back to, man. All right, the true worship of our power, man. This says, um, verse 31, back in Baruch chapter 2 and 31. Yeah, I was, because uh, last week, it's been a um, the seventh month, you know, got a, you got a few high holy days, right, in the seventh month. Last week was the, um, the day of atonement. And I did a video going in on how fasting is a part of Israelite culture. All right, it, it, Israelite culture goes deeper than a beard. Uh, being being an Israelite goes deeper than just not eating pork, man. We had our own ways about us, all right? The, the laws is more than, you know, a, a woman not wearing pants. All right, like these other groups may, may have you uh, think, man. It's way deeper than that. It's a mentality that comes with being an Israelite, a prince of the power, a son of God. And a lot of, pe a lot of these other groups, they got their fringes on their little ass t-shirt and their beard, but they're not moving in the mentality as a true son of God, as a true prince of the power, man. All right? It says that a Jew is one inwardly and not outwardly, man. That's what the, in 2 Samuel, or 1 Sam, I think it's 1 Samuel's, Lord said, I don't look on the inward, or I don't look on the outward appearance of man, I look on the inward, man. And that's what's being examined. Our, in, our inner man. Even Paul said, he said, you know, <coughs> I, with the inner man, I serve Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Because when I do good, evil is present with me because it's the bodies that we live in. He said, who will deliver me from this body of death? So we need deliverance, man. We need salvation. Oh, go ahead. It says, verse 31, it says, and shall know that I'm the Lord. I'm going to start at 30 again. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am the Lord, their power. That doesn't fit them uh, Khazards, all right, them bastards in our land today. They're not in captivity. They, According to them, they never forgot the, forgot themselves. So they don't fit biblical prophecy, at least not concerning the Israelites, being the true people of the Lord. But go ahead. It says, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear. And, and, and we've been given that. The water Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, I say that humbly, man. He's given us a heart to understand. He's given us ears to hear, eyes to see, man. Because we was once blind. We was once deaf, man. Okay? But the Lord opened our eyes to, that we can see and our ears that we can hear. That's a true blessing because not all Israel has been woken up. Not all Israel has been given a heart to uh, understand. So we got to, every day, we got to uh, realize that, man, and keep that at the forefront of our mind that this could be taken away from us as quick, as quickly as it was given to us, as quickly as that light was turned on, it could be taken away and that light be put out, man. So we got to walk in the light, man, before we get kicked out of it. But go ahead. It says, it says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. So we fulfill, we fulfill in biblical prophecy, man. Praise and think upon my name. IUIC has left the chat, man. Oh, yeah, that's talking about the law. No, it's not, man. It's talking about the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the true name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. That's second, that's the second chapter, man. Mm -hmm. Said that they confessed Him, all right, and, and stood so stiffly for the name of the Father and the name of His Son. In the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter, it says that they had the name of the Lamb, the name of Yahweh Shai, and the name of the Father, Yahweh, written in their foreheads. That's talking about the elect. So if you're saying the name don't matter, matter of fact, it was probably about eight, nine, ten years ago. Uh, on this same feast, the Feast of Tabernacles, IUIC was in the woods, and you had Nate in the um in the woods. They wrote the name, they wrote the name of the Lord backwards. They were scoffing it, talking shit, saying, oh, the bum camp, you know, whatever fucking corny ass jokes they was talking about, man. You gonna have to pay for that. You heard what happened to the last security guard, right? You heard what happened to that Egyptian boy that was blaspheming in the name of the Lord. Moses went to the Lord and said, what you wanna do with this dude? He said, stone his ass, man. Put him to death, all right? So what you think gonna happen to, 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 to someone that knows the name and blatantly disrespects it? Talking about you could call him, yo, play yogurt, jalapeno pepper, whatever you like, right? Whatever you will. That's, that's a sign that you're not of the elect. It says the righteous, it says the uh, the elect shall praise. Yep, go ahead. It's Sirach 17 and 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. The elect shall praise his holy name. All right? So you can have your beard and you can have your fringes on every t-shirt. You can have it on every pair of fucking drawers you got, man. 
But if you ain't praising his holy name, then you you just you just a nigga with a beard. You just a nigga with fringes, man. All right? That's it on that. I got something real quick. This is uh, <clears throat> Psalms 91 and verse 14. It says, because he hath set his love upon me. What's 13 saying? Uh, it says, it says, thou shalt tread upon the lion okay. and the, and adder, the young lion and, and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. It says, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. Mm -hmm. He shall call upon it me. It says, because he have known my name. And the scriptures also say in the book of uh, Micah that, uh, the man of wisdom shall see thy name. Yeah. All right. It says how what uh, in the book of uh, Saint John, how the Lord manifested His name unto them that ha, uh, that uh, was given unto Him. Roughly paraphrasing it. All right. Now you look up that word manifest in the blue letter. It says to reveal by teaching. All right. So the Lord has to open up your mind. All right. To actually believe and receive it, like we read in the Baruch, He opened up our eyes. All right. Uh, opened up our ears. Right. So He has to give you the belief that when you hear those names, that that's what it is. You know, that's all the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, but it said the man of wisdom is going to see that, you know. Mm. So showing you who the true man of wisdom are, because in the book of Proverbs, it says, uh, what's that, Proverbs 30th chapter? What, what is, is his, his name, name and what, what is, is his son's name, name if thou canst can tell? So showing you that it will be a mystery. But it says uh, the secret things belong to the Heavenly Father, but the things revealed belong unto us and our children. So the Lord revealed that unto us. Even when it says in the book of Zephaniah, it says that the Lord would return, would return unto us a pure language says he will return unto them a pure language that they may call upon him. Who's that speaking of? All right. Who's the people that he will return a pure language to? It ain't them fucking Khazars. They're not the people of the Lord. So who would the Lord return that to? He will return it to his true people, man. Showing you that whatever the fuck they saying over there ain't it. Because they ain't the true people. Because that's the Lord didn't reveal it unto them, man. And that's the key thing, man. It's the spirit that we, you know, we speaking on the name and everything like that, man. Because that's the key to salvation. Proverbs 18 and 10, Acts 4 and 12, you know. Yeah. Uh, it says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So these names, man, uh, having those is, is powerful. And that's a part of us coming back to who we are, man, is knowing the true name of the Father, knowing the true name of his Son, so that we can call upon those names and receive salvation, man. Yep. Back in uh, Psalms 91 and verse 15, it says, He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Uh, it says, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. All right, so just like what the brother's going into, man, the, the, the names are uh, highly important to, uh, to have, man. All right, and it's not only just about calling upon those names. It's actually, uh, it's, it's also about walking in the spirit of those names. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, yeah. I got you. Just to back that up, uh, this is the book of 2 Timothy. All right, chapter um, uh, 2 and 19 says nevertheless the foundation of the most high standeth sure having this seal the lord knoweth them that are his and let everyone that nameth the name of mashiach depart from iniquity mm. all right so here it is we have the name all right and if we're calling upon it we have to depart from iniquity man we got to depart from our, our our sins we have to become a new creature man all right this is a requirement of us being returned back into uh having the name of the lord see the lord took his name from off of us because we were going throughout the heathen and doing all types of work of wickedness, man, to where it was like you you made the Lord ashamed. You know, like here it is, like if you're out and about or you doing some bullshit at school, you know, you get in trouble and everything like that, who does that reflect on? It reflect on your parents. They're looking at it like, damn, you raised, this you is what no you raising, this training. is what you taught, you know? So the Lord was like, hell no, I ain't, I ain't teach, you ain't learned this <laughs> uh, uh, from Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you ain't learned this from me, you know? So he took our uh, his name off of us from a while, man, all right? But now we're getting that back, all right? Now we're being returned. Now he's not ashamed to be called our father, like it says in the book of Hebrews, to the children, all right, his sons that have faith, man. Yeah. It's St. John 4 and 23. But the hour cometh, I'll start at 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Mm -hmm. That's another thing too, man, knowing who salvation is for. All right, knowing who these things were written towards, man. See, back in the ancient world, our forefathers, it wasn't even a question of an actual heathen could get it it was clear uh, the promise was made to abraham isaac and jacob and to their seed line everybody that was outside of that seed line was excluded all right and moving down into the new testament it was always the same narrative man all right because in this society we've been taught that the lord is universal he's for everybody and everything like that man no it's nations that the lord hates man speaking of esau edom there's no repentance for him no salvation for him man you know and these are things that we have to be empowered to know man we're the sons of the living power man that's, that's, that's power and knowing that, like, nah, the Lord chose me, all right? 
He could have chose any other nation, man. He chose us to be his children, his people, man. And there's so much laid up for us, man. Mm -hmm. But you got to backslock it. Verse 23, it says, But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. And I just wanted to go into that word true. It's the Greek word alethinos. Alethinos. It says that which has not only the name and resemblance, but the real nature corresponding to the name. Mm. In every respect corresponding to the ideas signified by the name. Real, true, genuine. So again, UIC is left to chat. They entered for a little bit. Then they left again. <laughs> All right, because they don't they don't even call upon they don't they say you could call the Lord whatever you want and still giving this nigga all this money. Right. Still giving this nigga all his money, buying all the merchandise when this nigga when these niggas say that the name of the Lord doesn't matter. You could call him yo play yogurt. He blatantly wrote the name of the Lord backwards. And he still has a congregation showing you that most of Israel is full of shit, man. Most of Israel, they're not really about truth, okay? They're about, you know, whatever makes them feel good. That's why it says in Isaiah, speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy the seats. IUIC pushing them smooth things, man. Yeah, bring your fan, you know, pushing all that, you know, rapping and all that. Just all that other bullshit, man, them gimmicks. Pastor Har, I was watching Pastor Har last night, going into them gimmicks, man. We ain't got no gimmicks, man. All truth, okay? That's it. But we out here... Fishing for the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. It's not for all Israel. It says, all Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained and the rest was blinded. All Israel not going to get it, man. It says, uh, uh, only a remnant is going to return, man. Okay? That's who Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is for. Yahweh Shai said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. I pray for them which thou hast given me. In other words, I pray for the elect of the nation of Israel. I ain't dealing with the rest of them right now, man. It say all Israel is not of Israel. Galatians, the sixth chapter, it says, uh, uh, peace be unto you, Israel of God. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Israel of the Most High, which is talking about who? The true worshipers. And the true worshipers are going to have that name and not only have that name, but walk in the true nature of that name. Like we just read the definition, man. Mm -hmm. Like we read the precept in the book of Timothy. Okay, he that nameth the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. That name is supposed to purify us. In the book of 1 John, the third chapter, it says, We don't know what he shall be, but we know that when he comes, we shall be like him and see him as he is. He that has this hope within him purifieth himself even as he is pure. So having that name, man, it's, it's a purifying process. Going back to what we was talking about in the beginning of the lesson, we detoxifying ourselves, man. All right, but go ahead. Uh, I got this real quick. Uh, Proverbs 17 and 4. A wicked doer giveth heed to false lips, and a, and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. So these people that's taking heed to these different false doctrines and so on and so forth, that's ultimately because they're wicked, man. The Lord has slated them to uh, 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 to be destroyed. All right, it says that in the book of 2 Thessalonians. All right, it says... Um, uh, uh, man, how's the word? The Lord has sent them strong delusions that, that they, they may believe a lot. As a matter of fact, you can hit that real quick because it's a point that talks about the love of the truth right after. Second Thessalonians, uh, yeah, right. Okay. This Second Thessalonians 2 and 11, it says, And for this cause shall, it says, For this cause, Yahweh Bashmi Shah shall send them strong delusion. That love they shall... of the truth, you said love of the truth, that's verse 10. Right, but oh, he, yeah, tripping. he could, uh, yeah, oh, okay, I yeah, yep, yep, come yeah. on. It says, uh, uh, Second Th Thessalonians. 2 and 10 it says and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and in the, them that perish because they they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved it says them that uh, that they're going to perish because what they receive not the love of the truth all right this is the true gospel our right, says that if if our gospel be hid it is said to them, them that, that are lost. lost all right meaning that what is said to them that are damned that's going to receive damnation destruction right so if you can't get it, man, that's ultimately because the Lord hey, doesn't doesn't want the individual to get it, man. But keep reading on that, Bible Kusha. Yep, it says, and for this cause. And since we got it, that means he wants us to have it, mm -hmm. you know? Obviously, right by default. Yeah. So, you, you, Lord's will, we don't never let it go. And that's it. Lord's yep. will, we hold fast to the end. Because he that, hold, he said, um, hold, hold fast, fast that which he have yeah. till the Lord comes. He that overcometh to keep his works unto the end, the same shall get power over the nations. Yeah. 
this is the 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 earnest you know the earn the script talk about the earnest of the spirit mm -hmm. when you go into that word it's a down payment man showing that more is going to be given later on mm -hmm. right but go ahead mm -hmm. it says and for this cause the most high shall send them strong delusion that they should be believe a lie mm -hmm. strong delusions man you you following the group say the Lord, name of the Lord don't matter. That's a strong. You still following them? That's a strong delusion on your ass, man. Mm -hmm. All right, there's there's gonna be few members that come out of that when shit really get when sparks really get to flying, man. When yeah. shit really hit the fan, you are gonna see some members, you know, some of the elect members, few of them, man. Cause at this point, it's like how you know, at this point, if you ain't woken up, it's like goddamn, you must have a strong ass delusion on you. But, all right, it was ahead. a spirit because uh, even like really, man, that, hey, that's scary, man, because the Lord could the Lord just blocks your mind from receiving it. It doesn't matter how simple yeah, yeah. it is, because even on the line, bro, yeah. like we was telling, you know, going through the precepts, showing that we're supposed to worship you. How was shy, you know, bringing out multiple precepts multiple and, you know, the, one, this one dude, you know, hey, he couldn't get it right then. You know, it was just like he just was not getting it like at all. It didn't matter how we explained it. it didn't well, matter. We broke it down like pretty damn near flawless man yeah. it was damn like we, we went, went to the precepts words. yeah no. we went to words we went to precepts yeah. and he just couldn't get it he he kept denying like look we're going to precepts specifically saying that they worship Yahweh shy right. and you're still sitting here denying it man right. so in here yeah, it is crazy. the apostles they worship Yahweh shy even the angels the they angels, worship Yahweh yeah. shy we brought out all these different precepts so then it's like so were the apostles going off they didn't have nothing to say, like you know. Yeah, what I'm saying? then you start talking about the Greek translators was going off. Yeah, they it was mis uh, uh, what he's corrupted translations yeah, yeah. and things of this nature and everything like that. And That's it's like, but once again, but it shows you how much of a blessing it is that the Lord could allow our minds to receive these yeah. things so easily. It says that it's plain unto the holy. Like what That's were you right. saying? It was like, bro, how is this not plain to you? But it's because what the Lord has set them up strong illusions. Now with that individual, the Lord can bring him out of it, you know, or the Lord can leave him there. You know, but we pretty much at the end, man. All right, so it's like, shit, if, hey, <laughs> we're coming to the time where it's like, look, it's just going to be judgment at this point. But uh, keep reading on that Thessalonians, Bible yeah. for Shah. Verse 13, uh, verse 12. And it that's says, the point that I was actually thinking about, verse 13. I just misquoted it, but keep reading. It says, verse 12, it says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. But have pleasure in unrighteousness. All right, it says that they all might be damned that receive, uh, believe not uh, the truth, man. See, even in the book of Mark, it right, pretty much uh, is a parallel quote in the Matthew the 13th chapter. All right, but um, it, it says how uh, if the Lord was to open their ears all right, or open their eyes and open their ears, man, he would uh, convert and heal them, right? So that's why the Lord has stopped these people from receiving it because the Lord is going to fulfill his prophecy of destroying two thirds of his people here in this land. And the rest of the rebels of our people uh, amongst the rest of the world, man. All right. So everybody can't get it. The Lord is blocking people from receiving this so that they get destroyed. It's that simple. But go ahead. Yeah. Says, Did you uh, just quote uh, converted and healed, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, yeah. Because uh, uh, I forget how it's worded in Mark, but it's worded specifically in a. Uh, I could look for it. I know where the one in Matthews is, but it's two different wordings. You say? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Less, uh, less heal. Let me just see. It says convert and heal. Alright, this is the book of um uh, No, I don't say convert and heal. Well I just read this real quick. Mm -hmm, go ahead. It's right, Matthew right. chapter 13 and verse oh, 11. I started yeah, I start at verse 9. It says, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came unto and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. To them it is not given. So hey, that's why the Lord giving us this. To, to them it sounds like parables. To them they just can't get it. But to us it's plain, man. He revealing the secrets. He said, I reveal my secrets unto the servants, the prophets, man. And pretty soon you're going to see the world is going to see who the Lord's servants and his prophets are, man. It says that in the book of 2nd the 16th chapter. It says, then you shall know who is my chosen. In the book of Ezekiel it says, it says, uh, when this thing come to pass, Lord will come. Then you shall know a prophet has been among you. All right, you found that? Yeah, this is uh, Mark chapter 4 and verse uh, 11. And he said unto them, uh, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. Damn. You know? So this shows you that us even be able to receive this, 
All right, this is a sign that the Lord is uh, forgiving of, of our sins, just even to be able to receive this truth. That's why it says, seeing that you have this ministry, all right, you've obtained mercy, and uh, therefore we faint not, roughly paraphrasing, I might have mixed two, but this is showing you that, man, if we continue in this path, keeping this truth, the Lord is forgiving us of our sins, man. He's absolving all the bullshit that we've done, man. That's why it says, who shall lay any charge to the most high's elect? It is the most high that justify. Even King David prophesied of it in Psalms, the 32nd chapter. All right, he said, blesses the man whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity unto, man. All right, so we are going to be charged with our sins and our iniquities. I don't want to write this out. We continue to hold fast and yeah. into this truth, man. Because it starts with the truth. It starts with the ministry. It starts with the mysteries. Mm -hmm. Like the brother just went in. That Mark said, they not getting the mysteries because I don't want to heal them. Because I don't want to forgive their sins. Yeah. Okay, the brother quoting the Corinthians, seeing that we have this ministry, we have received mercy. Therefore, we faint not. So if you leave the ministry, you're, you're leaving, leaving mercy. mercy. Man, it says that. I believe that's in uh, Nahum. It says how those that observe lying vanities, they forsake their Damn, own mercy. Yeah. Roughly paraphrasing it, man. Paul said, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. Meaning, woe if I leave this ministry, man. Death and destruction. He says that they are not fit. He that put his hand on the plow and looketh back is not fit for the kingdom. Okay? In the in the Old Testament, when you go into a certain, you know, look back, or it, uh, it says Lot's wife, she looked back, right? That look means what? To, to regard with pleasure. So you got your hand on the plow, you in this ministry, but you looking at the world with pleasure, then you're going to have the same... Um, uh, the, the same destruction as uh, a Lot's wife, man, who's a pillar of an unbelieving soul, man. Said, all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. So we got to remain faithful unto the end. Give this word unto faithful men, able to teach others. That's what Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai is looking for. Talks about the elect, how they follow the lamb with us, so wherever he go. Blessed is that servant whom when his Lord comes shall find him doing. Blessed, he's, he shall be called a wise and faithful servant and be made a ruler over all his goods. Ain't no other option, man. That's right. No matter what the fuck we going through, we got to remain faithful. I talked to the brother Banya the other day, last Sunday. We was talking after the lesson, and um, we was just, you know, talking about, uh, it sound like smoke, he was talking about all our problems, right? <laughs> he was talking to Big Perm, trying to explain to him and shit, but we was, you know, just talking about, you know, the bullshit of this world, and uh, the brother was like, yeah, man, the shit that we going through, I, I, Get niggas out the truth. Shit that we go through, niggas done fell out the truth, right? And, and we, that's not even, a, we getting stronger in the truth through the shit that we going through. That's a great fucking sign, man. The Wadi Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. These fucking tribulations ain't making me weaker, man. It's making me stronger. It's bringing me closer to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. As it says in Sirach, the second chapter, cleave onto him. Yeah. And depart not when thou art changed to a lower state and be increased in your last end. Man, we getting closer to the Lord. But certain shit that Jay go through, get niggas pushed out the truth, man, yeah, yeah. and out the way. Yeah, you know? No, I was even thinking, man, about the testimony that Apostle Rakai had gave, uh, you know, um, that Apostle Tahar had um, uh, told him one time, man. He was, you know, dealing with what he was dealing with, you know, uh, uh, his uh, pretty much baby mom not allowing him to see his child and everything like that. He even said, you know, the testimony even said it, man. He was like, you know, I was kind of fucked up about it and everything like that. And the apostle told, I told him straight up, he was like, man, if you don't get over that shit, man, you're going to fall out the truth. So there's different individuals that are faced with those same trials and they actually fall out. So this is, a, man, this is only through the mercy of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, that the Lord has, the fact that we still wake up with the praise of the Lord in our lips, with the spirit to strive and fight mm -hmm. and to continue to push on and carry our cross and continue to follow the Lord, man, that's all of the mercy of the Lord. Right, There's right. There's different guys that go through different shit, a woman leaving them, they're all fucked up and they don't overcome it. They don't get over it. They give up. You know, and it's once again, it's all of the mercy of the Lord because it's the Lord that worketh in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure, man. You know, <clears throat> right. And hopefully, the, you know, this this word bit fell on good ground, man, you know, and it's going to grow up and, and, and it's going to prosper, man, because them guys that fall out, shit, fell on stony ground. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and the cares of this life. Choke the word out of them, man. Yep, yep. You know, so where they came unfruitful. That's like right. Says. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. You could uh, continue in that uh, Thessalonians Bible for sure. Come on, back in the uh, Second Thessalonians, chapter two and verse thirteen, it says, "But we are bound to give thanks 
all the way to the Most High for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because the Most High have from it says because the Most High have from the beginning chosen you. Salaki, I'm gonna read this real quick, and then we're gonna go back to that Bible Kusha. This is a uh, Psalm chapter 56 and verse 13. It says, Thou hast delivered my soul from death. Will thou not? It says, Will not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before Yahweh in the light of the living? And this is what the Lord is doing, man. He's delivering us from falling, delivering us from death. All right, now, you know, King David, uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, this is a Psalm of David. You know, he was in actual life and death scenarios where, you know, he was going to, he could be physically put to death and the Lord was delivering them time after time again, battle after battle, war after war. And it's the same thing with us. Battle after battle, spiritual battle after spiritual battle, battle, war after war. You know, the Lord is delivering us in the book of Psalms. It says, uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai delivereth them out of them all, right? So tying it into a spiritual sense, man, hey, the Lord is keeping our feet from falling, all right? Because the real death is falling out of this truth, all right? You better off physically dying and still being in this truth, all right, and being rewarded, all right, from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, as opposed to you falling out of the truth. All right, and still living in this wretched ass society, man. All right, the real death is falling away from this truth, so the Lord has continued to quicken us, regardless of what we're going through, man. That's why, hey, King David said, man, he just prayed that the Lord don't take his Holy Spirit away, mm -hmm. and that's our prayer as well, man. But I just wanted to hit that before going uh, back to that. So, lucky. yeah, if I can hit this as well, come. This is Matthew chapter 13 and verse 37. Uh, I'll start at 36. It says, Then Yahweh Shai sent the multitude away and went to the house. And his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. So before he broke it down, he sent the multitudes away. Going back to earlier in the chapter, it's not given unto them to know the mysteries, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Verse 37, it says, hey, he, Even when the Lord was doing certain miracles, he is, did everybody yeah. that wasn't believing out of the room. Yep. You yep. know? <laughs> but go ahead. Mm -hmm. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. That's heavy, man. So the Lord giving us this word, mm -hmm. right? It says the field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemies that sold them is the devil. The, the harvest is the end of the world, which is where we at right now, man. We at the end of the world. It's harvest time, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hey, that's Yapa, man. Because when you think about, man, the ages of our forefathers and everything like that, bro, how they went through all this, man. We've been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Not even just in this lifetime, bro. From lifetime after lifetime, we've suffered certain things, man. Some of us had to suffer gruesome deaths. All right, for the belief in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Been through a lot. And finally, it's harvest time, man. It says, Yahweh Shai said, Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. Mm -hmm. All right? So, man, I don't want to write this would be a part of that number, man. It's time to finally reap the reward. And we just got to get these last few, you know, milliseconds out the way of this, you know, dying ass society in this kingdom, man. But you got it back. Yep. Um, I wanted to jump to the point. Because that's not, well, that's what I want to, let me uh, jump up. Shalaki, that was not where I wanted. This is Matthew chapter 13 and verse 24. It says, another parable. That's not it either. Uh, verse. Uh, uh, the tribulation choked them. Oh, come. Um, that's a start up some. That's what the um. It's yeah, I the, see it. Okay, come. It's Matthew chapter thirteen and verse eighteen. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When any one heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receiveth seed by the wayside, but he that receiveth seed into stony places. The same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet, has, so this is someone that, you know, they get the word, may even get some fringes, may even come into the camp. Right, they're right? excited. Right? Yeah, it <laughs> says, yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while, for when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. So that show you that. Tribulation and persecution will get someone out the way, man. All right, will get someone off the path. Will cause them to stop serving the Lord, man. But we got to use our tribulation as fuel to the fire. Yeah. To empower us, man. To get us to push us closer to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Says he was made perfect through suffering. So suffering is supposed to get us closer to perfection. 
That's exactly what the Lord is, man. It said, be ye perfect as your Father in heaven. Right? It says, he, he also that receiveth seed among the thorns. That, that's pretty much the point that I wanted to get. Mm -hmm. So you can go ahead and hit your preset, man. Kind of, this is Romans chapter 5, and I start at the top. It says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord Yahweh Shai, by whom we also have access by faith into the grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High. Yeah, and that shows you, man, how, once again, how important faith is. I always think about that, Sirach, the second chapter says, Woe unto him that is faint hearted. All right, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not, not be, be defended. defended. So we are being defended because we are holding fast to our belief. It says how uh, um, our hope is as an anchor to the soul. So the only reason, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, that we're being defended, we're going to making it through these things is through the faith that we have, man. And that's been a gift given unto us, Ephesians, the second chapter. All right, but if we let go of that faith, let go of that belief, or you don't believe that the Lord is going to deliver, you know, whatever the case may be, man, then don't expect it, man. All right? All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. That's right. Plain and simple. It says, by grace are you saved through faith, which is not of yourselves. It's a gift of the Lord. He literally gifted us with, with the best gift. The best gift you can possibly... Look, I'd rather have the gift of faith than the gift to shoot threes like Curry <laughs> than, the, than the gift to sing like Michael Jackson or the gift to, you know, anything else, nigga. Defense like... Uh, Floyd or whatever the case may be, man. This is the best gift that you can possibly has, have because this gift can get you saved. Being able to shoot threes or sing a song or whatever the fuck, that's not going to get you saved, man. All right? You got more on that? Yeah. Um, uh, back in Romans 5 and uh, verse 3, it says, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. So going through those different tribulations, you know, we glory in those things, man, because we understand through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushad that those different tribulations are going to increase our hope. You know, uh, 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 like it said, man, you know, experience, uh, it says the patient experience and experience hope. So we know that it's going to increase our hope. And that's where we need to be increased, you know, in the times that we're coming in. Yeah, because without that, it's impossible to please Jesus. him. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what pleases him. So I want as much as that as I, if, as I can get. And if suffering is the cost, then that's just what it is, man. Yeah. That's the rite of passage, man. Yeah, no, that's the mentality of the elect, man. Going into that revelation. Uh, I think we were talking about it in the lesson we did, you know. But here it is, man. It says how uh, they love not their lives unto death, right? In the book of Revelation, talking about the elect. And when you read in the NLT, it says how they didn't love their lives so much that they were uh, afraid to die, right? So here it is, these men, they, and, and, and women, all right, all the believers, all right, who have to suffer being beheaded or whatever the case it may be, here it is, they didn't care, all right, to the point to where they were willing to die. So how much more, all right, did they not care about maybe losing the job or maybe losing this or maybe losing whatever the case it may be, man? And we go through different sufferings, man, to get us in that mentality, to uh, to put us in that mind frame to where we can suffer and lose certain shit and then not phase us, man. But it's a process that we're going through. So the suffering, man, is all is all molding us. We got to get to that point. Yeah. All right. If, if Here it is. If, if you scared of losing the job or scared of losing a woman, you think you ain't going to be scared of losing your life, yeah. <laughs> you know, your, your breath, and your, your lungs. <laughs> Right, but you more you're more afraid to lose in the job, and I'm just using these two carnal examples because that's the only thing you know that's I can think about right now, you know. But if if we're afraid to lose these things, man, we think we're going we we just gonna be ready to lay the life right. down on the line. Well, that's what persecution. That's what Esau gonna start with your job. All right, a way to feed your family. He gonna start with that. That's you know, mm -hmm. he gonna try to tempt you with that. When you go to the word temptation in the New Testament. Is try trying to entice someone to sin. Trying to swerve someone from their divine purpose, man. So he's going to start with that. Look, nigga, you're not going to be able to live in this house. You're not going to be able to pay your bills. You're not going to have, you know, none of this shit. You're not going to be able, what they keep saying, you're not going to be able to participate in this society. society yep. He caused it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And who don't have that M-A-R-K won't be able to buy or sell. Meaning what? You go into that word buy, it's agarazzo. Which goes back to the uh, the root word, uh, the the root, the Greek root word is agora, which means what? Marketplace. 
right? So, you know, in, in simplest terms, you're not going to be able to par participate in the society, which is what these niggas is coming out blatantly saying. That's the MOTB. That's the, you know, the CBD. The CBDC is a uh, prelude to the MOTB, which is the RFID CHIP. <laughs> PIMP. <laughs> nah, <just like. laughs> but yeah, so we keep our mind on that, man. We keep our mind on, you know, preparing ourselves for that time because it's coming. It's coming fast, too, man. And uh, uh, I think January 1st. You know, you got uh, Saudi Arabia, they they join in, they being allies with the BRICS. All right? Uh, Russia and them niggas. And if you ain't, if you ally with them, they say, look, nigga, we not, we not selling the oil to, to them fucking, uh, to America and his allies, man. That's going to cause the dollar to collapse. That's really the only thing holding the dollar up in all actuality is that the U.S. dollar is being used to, uh, to trade uh, petrol, to trade oil, buy and sell oil. Once these nations leave that, the U.S. dollar is not going to have no type of fucking volume. It's going to fall overnight. I mean, it's going to fucking fall quick as fuck. Ain't no other way to put it, man. But go ahead. That's it. Was that in that Thessalonians? Uh, I mean, I'll read verse 13 again. Kind of. Back in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 13, yeah. it says, But we are bound to give thanks all way to the Most High for your brethren beloved of the Lord, because the Most High have from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. Wait, read that again and slow it down. Bible Kusha. It says, but we are bound to give thank, thanks all way to the Most High for you, mm -hmm. brethren, beloved of the Lord, because the Most High have from the beginning. The Most High have from the beginning did what? Chosen you to salvation. Chosen us to salvation. How, what is a sign that we may be the ones that he chose from salvation, for salvation? Go ahead. It says through sanctification. Through sanctification. Yeah. Sanctify them through thy truth. Yeah. That yeah. word is true. Yeah. Go ahead. It says of the spirit and belief of the truth. Through the spirit wow. and belief of the truth. Faith. So the fact that we have this is the Lord saying that I'm going to deliver you if we hold fast into it. That's a promise. Hey, as a matter of fact, you can end it off in that. Uh, jump to 1 Thessalonians 5. And you can start at about verse 4. And then uh, we'll read to like um, a point unto wrath. Uh, not a point unto wrath. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 4. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness. It says, Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is, it is because there's no light in them. Yeah. Right? So the fact that we have this word, we've been sanctified to receive this truth. All right? Is a sign that we are the children of the light. Yeah. All right. The scripture says that he has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. The water, the water. And the only, like the brother mentioned, man, we just have to hold fast into it. And ultimately, man, that's up to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, that's up to the Lord if he decides to have mercy upon us, man. You know, but go ahead. Yep. It says, verse 5, it says, Ye are the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Mm -hmm. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, mm -hmm. but let us watch and be sober. Mm -hmm. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Mm -hmm. Go but, ahead. but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and putting love. Putting on the breastplate of faith. Go ahead. And love, mm -hmm. and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For an helmet, the hope of salvation. So our hope and belief that we'll be delivered, we have to hold fast into that, man. All right. That's our armor. That's our helmet. But go ahead. It says, for the most high have not appointed us to wrath. Wait, who didn't he appoint unto wrath? It's the children of the light. Yeah. We have the light, right? We know we got the light. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me anybody else got the light other than us. Through the spirit of power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and I boldly stand on those words, man. What we're teaching is the truth. This is the light. All right. This is it. There ain't nothing else. There ain't nothing better. <laughs> All right. This is it, man. So we got that. But go ahead. It says, for the Most High have not pointed us to, to wrath, mm -hmm. but to obtain salvation. Uh, uh, like it. Uh, by our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right, to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. So this is a sign that this is what we're going to receive, man. As a matter of fact, if you would have kept reading in that Romans, the fifth chapter, it says uh, pretty much through the Lord's sacrifice, man, we're escaping from the wrath. Mm -hmm. You know, as a matter of fact, just hit that, that point and then we could uh, close it out unless you have something else off. Uh, this it is, also um, says in the book of Jeremiah, man, that his thoughts towards us are peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. All right. And he's speaking to his believers and his servants, man. All right. But go ahead. 
Uh, this is Romans chapter 5. It's Romans 5 and verse uh, uh, 9. Oh, okay. You can start at verse 8. Uh, verse 8 it says but the most high commanded his love toward us mm -hmm. and that while we were yet sinners yahweh shall die for us showing you man the mercy mm. that the lord has had upon us man all right to even give us his knowledge once again this is a, a sign of his mercy us having this he could have left us in this world getting ready to get destroyed with a bunch of fucking sodomites and these transformers and everything these damn weirdos niggas walking around i ain't never think i see niggas walking around freely with them painted nails yeah all right, uh, them, go... them supposed to be heteros like regular niggas like straight bro, niggas bro. straight niggas paint their nails now man and bro, Which really they not straight if you're doing some shit like that it's a lot you know no nah, no nah, i mean that's bro it's it's niggas bro that's supposed to be like top dogs and you know what i'm saying bro, tank hood. davis bro that nigga had painted nails bro these niggas go to fucking transformer shows what the <laughs> fuck? Tank. <laughs> go to transformer shows bro and they did and they them niggas you know what yeah. i'm saying in this world according to they them they supposed to be them niggas but bro fuck that man y'all can have it y'all can have this shit man fuck this world y'all can have this shit man but go ahead salaki this is uh back in uh, romans chapter 5 and verse 8 it says but the most high commanded his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners yahweh shot died for us mm -hmm. much more than being now justified by his blood, mm -hmm. we shall be saved from the wrath through him. We yeah. shall be saved from wrath through him. So the glory always redounds to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah, man. The water for this truth, the water for this light. All right, man. So so that we can make it up out of here. I don't want to all. We just hold fast the light, you know, hey, and to keep that light, man. What do we got to do? We got to trim our lamps, keep our uh, lamps burning, man, yeah. you know. Hey, so man, Lord's what I was at a fine. We're gonna end it right there and give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. With that, we're gonna say Shalom. Shalom.